Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize sections of an audio file in P5.js using the getPeaks method of the sound file object in the P5 sound library. Uh, I've done a couple tutorials about how to visualize audio files using the getPeaks uh, method. I also just did a tutorial about how to play sections of an audio file instead of the full audio file. So what I'm going to do now is also visualize just a section of the audio file instead of the entire audio file. So already starting out here, I have this chuck.mp3 sound file that I've uploaded into my sketch. I've then created a uh, variable of which I then use the preload function to load the mp3 file into that variable to create a sound file object. I have also created a, a variable called peaks, which should actually be a empty array. And then I'm using the get peaks method, uh, which takes an argument of how many uh, elements I want in the array, the get peaks. Uh, method will return an array of the amplitude of the audio file uh, with as many elements as you specify. So in this case, I'm going to use the width, the size of the canvas on the x-axis. And now I have a array called peaks, which holds all that uh, audio data. So uh, I've before, what I've done is taken the entire peaks array and visualized it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break it up into uh, eight sections. I'm actually going to make a variable called numclips, which uh, is going to be eight. So I could change this later. And then I'm also going to make a variable called clip section. Uh, and right now that'll be clip section zero, which is uh, just going to refer to which part of the audio file I want to, uh, in this case, visualize. Um, and then later on, we'll also play it. So I'm going to make a for loop. So let i equal zero. Then i is less than uh, Actually, in this case, what I'm going to do is I need to make another uh, variable here, which I'm going to call w, and this is going to be the width divided by num clips. Okay, so this is since my idea is to divide the audio file into uh, eight sections, I also want to just kind of, for a reference, have this value that divides the canvas into eight sections as well, even though I'm not necessarily going to be working with the canvas in eight sections, but just as a, a number to work with. Okay, so this is also since my get peaks is um, I have 400 elements in my array, I'm going to consider that each uh, section of the audio file that I might want to visualize is going to be one eighth of that size. So that's where we're getting this number w. And then i plus plus. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line. And I'm going to do this just in the middle of the canvas. So width divided by two. And then I'm also going to do plus i. So this, the width divided by two is sort of the starting point, And then it's just going to iterate through uh, this for loop. In this case, it is going to be exactly uh, 1 8 of the size of the full uh, array or the canvas here. So we're looking at about 50 elements out of the array uh, for each clip or each section of the audio file. Okay, so this is where it's going to start on the canvas, and then this will just iterate through those 50 elements of the array that we're going to visualize. And then I'm going to do it in the middle, so height divided by 2. And what I need to do is first I'm going to minus peaks i, and then since all the values in that are going to be between 0 and 1, I'm just going to multiply those by 100. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this basically going to be the same. But in this case, uh, part of the line is going to be going up from the middle of the canvas. Part of the line is going to be going down from the middle of the canvas. Uh, so now if I press play. So this is the first section of 
this audio file that we can see. Um, so this would be the very beginning of this audio file that I have. And maybe what I'll do just for kind of a reference, well, oh, it might take too much time. I'm going to skip that, actually. Um, I was thinking about maybe just visualizing the entire audio file here so we can get it. I guess since I've already brought it up, I might as well do it easy enough. I can just copy and paste this. I'm going to put this here. I'll make this width, and then I'm going to just do this at there, and let's do this there. This was not actually something I had planned to do, but it's fine. I'll just divide it by four here. All right. So here is the the full audio file, and this is the section we are looking at here that we have just visualized. Okay, so now if I want to visualize a different section of this, what I actually will need to do, and let's remember that this is the uh, for loop that I uh, am visualizing that with, is I'm going to take the elements in the array and instead of starting at zero, which is I, I'm going to start at um, I times, uh, or it's actually going to be I plus, and then W times clip section, I'm pretty certain is what that will be. So this means start at index 0 or index 1 or index 2 um, index and it's going to kind of iterate through that uh, so this is means iterate through all 50 elements of the array but this is saying where are we going to start in the 400 elements of the array and in this case uh, if we're at 0 it's still going to do the same thing but if we were to change this to 1 and since W is equal to 50 in this case, which is 400 divided by the number of clips, then it'll start drawing the audio file at element 50 of the peaks array instead of at 0. And if I change it to 2, it'll start drawing it at 100. And if I change clip section to 3, it'll do it at 3. And that'll also work nicely in that this is the first clip section, the second, the third, the fourth. So I'm going to copy and paste this and do this again. So now if I run it, we get it the same. However, if I go in here and change clip section to 1, you see this section is now changed, and now it's looking more like this second section here. If I change it to section 2, it now looks like this section. And bear in mind, we're starting from 0 here. So even though it says clip section is 2, that would we count 0 as, as the beginning, the first one. So it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, so maybe I'll just do 7. And that clip there looks like that there. So we can see now, so this is how I can just visualize part of the audio file as opposed to the whole thing. I'm going to get rid of now the full audio file, which is this one here, uh, to do that, OK? Um, so do that, and there we have it, all right? So what can we do with this now? Because this is still pretty simple. So one of the things uh, I can do is I'm going to copy this. I'll just comment this out for a moment, just in case. And I'm going to do function mouse pressed. And what I want to do is just draw this section of the audio file wherever I click my mouse. I'm just going to paste this here. Uh, but now instead of the origin points being at the middle of the canvas with width divided by 2 and height divided by 2, I'm going to do mouse x for the width. And I'm going to do mouse y for the y-axis, and I am going to move the background uh, into setup. So I'm just going to kind of stamp this audio file here. Let's go back to audio file zero for a moment. And so now if I click, it just puts that section of the audio file all over the canvas. Um, so I can kind of get rid of this now. I don't really need it. Now, 
obviously if we're working with audio we might as well add the audio so the idea now is that we click the mouse and not only does it create an image of that section of the audio file but we can hear that section as well so i'm going to use chuck play and in a previous tutorial it went through the um the optional arguments we can pass into play so the first one being when do we want it to start and we want it to start immediately so we put zero uh, the rate we can just have as one the amplitude also is one so those aren't anything we want to mess with now the fourth and fifth argument are what's important here in that the fourth argument is where in the audio file do we want to start so in this case we have eight sections of the audio file so we want it to start at whichever clip section we are working at so we need to use the duration method so chuck dot duration and then divided by the number of clips which is eight um, and then multiplied by the clip section and the final one is how long do we want this audio file to last and in this case we want it to just last one eighth of the time since we are chopping up our sound file into eighths and then so just num clips and again I can do that just in case I want to make uh, any changes to how m many pieces I'm chopping that into so now if I run it what 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 so now not only am I visualizing that section when I click the mouse I'm also hearing the section uh, and just to see so we could change this now to a different audio clip what 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 oh what happened here hold on we're searing that but something it's not what what not right here so audio number of clips divided by clip section so that should be right let me play around with this for one moment is that what we need what what Assuming that was going to happen, where are we going wrong here? So, oh, I see what it is. So, because this is a method, I forgot to add the open and close parentheses there. That should do the trick. What? What? Okay, so we're back to zero. Let's change it to one. Two. Two. There we two. Go. Two. Two. Okay, you see me debugging in real time here, uh, but that was the issue. Just I forgot to put the parentheses after the duration so it wasn't reading that uh, as a duration okay so uh, there's other things you could do with this um, I could add a slider and so I could move the slider and that would determine which clip section so I could kind of have a bit more control instead of having to constantly stop here um, one other thing I could maybe just iterate through so I could do just like an if statement. So if clip section is equal to num clips minus one. So basically I'm going up to seven here. Um, then I would reset it to zero. But the idea here is that if uh, it's not at seven yet, I'm just going to constantly add one every time. I click the mouse and that will just iterate through all these different clips here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and what? how we do it um what i could do also just to kind of show and see if this works is i can change the number of clips instead of uh eight i could do like 16. so this now chops it up into even smaller pieces and i mean i could get really crazy here and do like And there seems to be some kind of issue with that. So I'm just going to kind of keep it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and it's starting on like four because I should start it on zero. Two, three. And it's saying two, three. I think what I would need to do is actually 
play this first before I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and I, so now I'm just kind of uh, going off the rails a little bit, but that is the idea. So again, what we've done here is uh, we're visualizing just part of our audio file and then uh, playing it with the mouse and then also playing that same section. So now not only are we playing a section, we are actually just visualizing one section of that audio file. Um, so you could take this. There's a lot of different things you could do with it, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it.